All right, joining us now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is with us. He was in South Carolina this week advocating for congressional term limits. Um, I, I, I still think back to that debate. That was a fun night. I got to thank you, Governor, and the people of your state. I've, I've had a place in Florida for over 20 years, but now that I've moved down here and this is where my new home full time, uh, best decision I've ever made. And everybody has been really warm and welcoming me, and I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. Well, no, we're, we're glad to have you. You're not the only one, as you know. Uh, I know you've had a lot of friends uh, that have been moving down for many, many years now. You and I used to joke, when you when were you finally going to pull the trigger? Um, and <laughs> no, you, you did. You, uh, but I'll tell you, you, you know. Yeah. You, you jabbed me pretty good. And you, people I kept down here, though. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know. You kept saying, and we were waiting to see when it would happen. But I'll tell you on this newsome thing. You know, the Democrats are in a pickle because on the one hand, you know, we see Biden six fries short of a happy meal. He can't even give a two minute statement without them filming 20 jump cuts just for him to deliver a certain message. So clearly people see that the media can try to dress that up. But voters are on to that. So they can look to someone like Newsom, who no doubt is a slippery politician. He stood on that stage. And when we had the debate with you and tried to tell people that somehow California didn't have a homeless problem, didn't have a crime problem, that California had lower taxes than Florida, like nobody believes this stuff, but he does do it in ways that, that are um, uh, that's slick. The problem, though, I think, is he also stood on that stage when you pressed him. And he endorsed Biden fully. He said Biden was an A-plus president. He endorsed all of Biden's disastrous policies. So if he were to run, he would get saddled with all those policies. But then he'd have to answer for California. They have the biggest budget deficit in the country, $70 billion. Uh, they have homeless problems. They have an exodus of people. So in some respects, you know, it's the worst of both worlds. You have Biden's policies and that bad record as well as all the California dysfunction. And all we'd have to do is run commercials showing that San Francisco poop map. And I think people would understand right away. Yeah. Um, since, by the way, that debate, he's now signed a law allowing free health care to illegal immigrants in his sanctuary state of, of California. I think the country would have a hard time with that position alone. Uh, Governor, if I owned a dog, and I love dogs, I really do. I've had three dogs in my life, actually four. I loved all of them with all my heart. I, I just think the world of dogs. But if your dog bites one person, uh, that's a problem. How is it possible they allowed this dog to bite 24 agents before they finally said, uh, maybe that's enough? What, how do you, I mean, to me, at that point, it's criminal. Yeah. Well, first of all, Sean, uh, we recently, so I have a first grader, a, a kindergartner and a preschooler, and we just adopted our first dog for the kids. So we rescued a dog out of a homeless, out of a, a dog shelter in uh, Tallahassee. So our kids are having the time of their lives. I think all kids should be able to grow up uh, with dogs, but you got to care for the dog. And I think maybe what happened was this dog was just window dressing and they probably weren't giving it the type of attention, so it kept acting out. Uh, so, you know, I, I can just tell you this. Um, you'd rather be a dog at the Florida governor's mansion than at the Biden White House, I can tell you that. Let me ask you this. And I, and I know that you've been pushing, and I, I, I characterize term limits this way. And I know you're leading the effort to now maybe uh, get a constitutional amendment on the issue of term limits. I've always said about it, it's a bad idea because I'd like to believe that an informed public would vote people in and out. But we both know the power of incumbency uh, and how difficult it is to beat an incumbent. However, I call it a bad idea whose time has really come. And maybe if we send people for a <laughs> short period of time to Washington, maybe they would go with the let me let me vote for the American people and my constituents with the with the understanding you're going back home to your real life in a couple of years, so you don't have to worry about re-election every second. Well, first, on the issue of, like, voters get to choose, the fact of the matter is incumbents 
rig the process for their benefit. So the reason why 98 percent of incumbents get reelected is not because 98 percent are doing a good job. It's because they've developed a system where it's almost impossible uh, to defeat an incumbent. And so if it were an even playing field, maybe that argument would matter. Let me tell you this, Sean. We have term limits in Florida for our legislature. What happens is people go. They know they're going to be there for a limited period of time. So their incentive is not to be there the rest of their life. Their incentive is to make a difference. Their incentive is to leave a legacy, tackle the big issues. And I think what you see right now in Washington is they always want to pass the buck. The number one thing they do is to just try to perpetuate themselves in office. We've had an awful run over the last 20, 30 years, going from $6 trillion in debt to $34 trillion in debt. Congress has passed some disastrous pieces of legislation uh, over the years, and it's just not working. So I think that this is a reform. And whether you think it's a, a bad idea whose time has come or a good idea whose time has come, I'll take any support we can get. Republicans and Democrats across the country, voters, believe that term limits would make a difference, and I do too. All right, Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, great to have you back, Governor. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.